How's it going everybody? Corbin here from Zoco Marketing. In today's video, we are talking about how to create a Facebook business page. Whether you're a website or a local business or a massive business, having a Facebook business page in today's world is crucial. So we're gonna be talking about step-by-step -step how to build that from scratch. Before we do, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's jump right in. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your personal uh, Facebook profile. Yes, you will have to have a personal Facebook profile in order to go through and create a business page. So here we are on this page. This may look slightly different to you depending on um, when you're watching this or Facebook sometimes tests different interfaces of their, their Facebook platform. So look for something that has like this little menu and create, we're gonna come over here to create a page. So we're gonna click that. And that is going to take us to a page that looks something like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is give our page a name, which is going to be the name of your business. So today we are gonna be creating one for house to home DIY category. It's gonna ask for your category here. So for us, we are DIY, um, we'll do home decor. There we go, there's one that fits ours. And then a slight description. So I have a simple description here that I added in. Feel free to add more to yours as well. You have a character limit of 255. And now we're gonna come down here over to this little section uh, to create our actual page. Waiting for that to load up. This then gives us the option to add our images for and our cover photo. These both say optional, but I highly recommend adding these. Uh, it does add credibility to your web, your uh, Facebook page. If you do add uh, images, obviously if you visit a Facebook page and it doesn't have any images, it doesn't look like the business is taking care of that. So we're gonna add a couple of photos here. The first one is a profile photo. And for the profile photo, it is 360 by 360 is the best size for that. So I created this just inside of um, Canva. Actually, if you're looking to create a logo for yourself, over here, you can come through and quickly create a Canva logo. So we have our uh, simple logo right there, and then we're gonna add a cover photo. Same thing, I did create this inside of Canva as well. It makes it really nice and simple. So there is our logo and our cover photo is added onto there. And now, as you can see, we are starting to look like an actual Facebook page. When somebody lands on here, they can kind of almost immediately tell what it's about. We have House Home DIY and then our logo. Um, so let's continue on. Now that we have those inside of there, we're gonna hit save. Wait for this to load up. This will then take you to a page that looks like this. If you wanted to connect your Facebook page to WhatsApp, you could add, enter in your phone number right here. But for me, I am going to opt out of this. So I'm gonna hit this little exit button. But if you wanted to do that, just enter in your phone number here, hit send code, and then follow the instructions there. But we're gonna hit exit. It's gonna say, are you sure? And then we're gonna leave, yes. And now we are finally on our Facebook business page. And the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna actually want to unpublish this page because we are building it, it's in the building stage. We don't want anybody to accidentally land on it while we're building it. So we're gonna scroll down here to the settings. And you'll notice here, page visibility, we're gonna edit this and we are going to page unpublish, save changes, and it's gonna ask for the reason. It's just because the page isn't finished yet. By the end of this tutorial, we're gonna come back and turn that back on. So don't worry about that being unpublished. And then we're gonna hit uh, unpublish, close. Now we are gonna go back to our general settings over here or back to the, the homepage, click on this house to home DIY. Once again, it's gonna ask us to connect WhatsApp. We're gonna say no, leave. It's really annoying that it does that. And we want to now create our username, which is really important because if you look up here in the URL, when you type this in, my URL is house to home DIY and then it has this massive string of letters. We want this to be as close to our username as possible. So when people search us on Google or inside of Facebook for our business, we're showing up inside of there. Now, this is a pretty common term. So I'd be surprised if I can get this exact house to home DIY, but we will find out here. So house to home DIY. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, and that username is available. So really lucky for me that that actually is available. This is my site as well. So we're gonna hit create username. Done. And then now you'll notice that our URL is house to home DIY. And if we refresh this URL here, you'll see now that the Facebook URL is facebook.com backslash house to home DIY, which is awesome. Oh, and, and it says that this, is, this page is an available published page, which we can come back to later. Next thing we wanna do is add a call to action button to our business page. This is gonna vary depending on your business goals. Uh, if you're a local business or a restaurant, you're gonna want start order or book now, whatever it may be. For me, because I want to send people to my website, I'm just gonna go with a simple call to action of learn more. And then it's going to ask for my website here. So we're gonna put this in house to, uh, if I can spell house to home DIY.com. We're going to save that. And then now when somebody comes to this page, 
and uh, it's going to say learn more. It's not going to say edit for me. It's saying edit, but obviously you can come back and test this whenever you would like. Uh, but make sure you add that call to action inside of there. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here over to this about section. And in the about section, you want to fill out all of this, all the uh, relevant information to your business as possible. For me, I don't really care about the location, but the website is a big thing that I want to make sure that is added inside of here. This gives my domain even more authority because uh, Facebook does have a lot of authority as well. And then for me, because uh, as I mentioned, I'm not going to enter location phone number. I don't want people necessarily calling me for this business. So I'm not going to add in my phone number. You can send me a message, enter an email. I actually have a business email for this one, but make sure you do go through that. And then you can edit your business hours as well, which for me, it's just an online blog. So I'm not going to do that either. Now you will notice that Facebook also does have this handy little um, set up your page for success. You'll notice that we went through and established the page identity. And then it's telling me that I still need to go through and add location hours, phone number and connect to WhatsApp, which are things that I don't really care to do for my business. And then the last things to do is to invite friends and create a welcome post. So, so now you can come over, click invite friends, and we're going to uh, invite a few people onto this page real quick. So there we have it. I just selected my wife. I'm sending the invite over to her. So we're going to hit send invite. And there is that. Now it, it doesn't, it does uh, prompt you to invite 10 or more for me. I'm only going to do one and then we're going to go through and create another post. Now, before we go through and create our first post, there are a couple of other things that you can edit. You'll notice these tabs up here. We have home events, reviews, videos, and more. Say that you wanted to go through and, and customize what those tabs look like. You come over here to settings and we'll come over to templates and tabs. And then notice here's are the template or the tabs that we had inside there. Say that we were creating a job posting. We could click inside there, click jobs. And then now when we go back over here, you'll notice and we refresh this. Under the more tab, we should have jobs now inside of there. So you can come through and, and customize any of those tabs. So you are showing them in there. Say you wanted to create a job posting, you can come in here and create job and fill out all the information inside of uh, that for that job listing. One other setting to be aware of is if you come in here to settings, I know that a lot of people are on Instagram. So if you wanted to connect to your business page to your Instagram account as well, you can come over here to Instagram. And then here is where you could simply connect your Instagram account, which I do recommend doing. If you do have an Instagram account, if you don't have an Instagram account, I do recommend creating one and then connecting it as well. Just gives your brand even more authority. So we're going to come back here now. The last thing for you to do is to simply go through and create your first post. You can do that by clicking right here and write something about your post or add a photo. For me, I'm going to add a photo and I just got done creating this wall. So we're going to do board or bedroom. Accent wall. We're going to add our photo. And there we have it, our first Facebook post. Uh, we have a, a very boring caption, bedroom accent wall. Uh, learn how, follow for more DIY project ideas. There we go, we have a, a small little um, caption there as well. And we're gonna hit post, send out our first post out to our zero followers. But it is important to, before you start inviting people, I do recommend posting at least, you know, four or five different things. That way, when people, when you do invite people to the page, they see that there's actually content and a reason for them to follow the page. I know it can be kind of annoying to go through and post stuff when you almost know nobody's going to see it at first, but it is an important step before you go through and invite people to have content on that page, whether it be videos, posts, or uh, a mixture of both of those. So there we have it, our beautiful Facebook page. Uh, of course, it is still unpublished. So if you wanted to go through and publish that, you could either hit publish page or for whatever reason you're not seeing this little um, uh, notification up there, you come over here to settings, back over to page unpublish. We're gonna edit and hit publish page, hit save there. And congratulations, you now have a Facebook business page ready to go. Now all you need to do is go through and promote that. If you found this video helpful today, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give me a big thumbs up and we will see you in the next video.